Hi students, if you are new to my channel, I am Divya, I will be teaching 10th class mathematics. Today, we will be discussing exercise 4.2 from the chapter quadratic equations. If you have missed watching my previous videos, I will put all the links in the description box below. So, let's get started. Today, we will be discussing question number 1. Find the roots of the quadratic equations by factorization method. So, we will be solving all the questions using factorization method. So, to understand what is factorization method, we have already discussed in our introduction video. If you have missed watching that video, I will put it in the description box or I will put it in the i button. So, the first question is, x square minus 3x minus 10 is equals to 0. So, to solve this question using factorization method, we will split the middle term which is minus 3x. Okay. Now, see here from this equation, a will be coefficient of x square which is 1, b is coefficient of x which is minus 3, and c is minus 10 which is the constant term. So, to split the middle term, the first step is we will multiply a and c which is 1 into minus 10 is minus 10. The second step is we will find all the possible factors for minus 10 which is 1 into minus 10 minus 1 into 10, 2 into 5 is also 10, right? So, minus 2 into 5 and 2 into minus 5, okay? So, remember, if you multiply these numbers, you need to get minus 10 and if you add them, you need to get minus 3, which is our middle term, okay? Now, see all the combinations, which one we can take? We can take 2 and minus 5, right? So, if you add them, you will get minus 3, okay? Now, let us split this middle term, minus 3x. So, x square minus 3x can be written as plus 2x minus 5x. So, I am taking this combination, okay? Minus 10 is equals to 0. From the first two terms, if we take x common, you will get x plus here you will have 2. Okay. And from the next two terms, if we take minus 5 common, you will have x, x plus 2 is equals to 0. Okay, now here x plus 2 and x plus 2 are common. So, let us take x plus 2 and remaining is x minus 5. Take x plus 2 is equals to 0 and x minus 5 is equals to 0. Now, you will get x is equals to minus 2 and x is equals to 5. So, these are the roots for this equation okay which is x is equals to 5 and x is equals to minus 2 clear so let us see the second question 2x square plus x minus 6 is equals to 0 so from here you will get a is equals to 2 which is coefficient of x square and b is equals to 1 which is coefficient of x and c is equals to minus 6 which is the constant term okay to split the middle term that is x what is the first step the first step is we will multiply constant and coefficient of x square which is 2 into minus 6 you will get minus 12 okay second step is you will find all the possible factors of minus 12 which is 1 into minus 12, minus 1 into 12, 
2 into minus 6, minus 2 into 6, then 3 into minus 4, minus 3 into 4. Okay. So, remember when you multiply them, you need to get minus 12. And if you add them, you need to get plus 1, which is the middle term. Right. So, see the combinations, which combination you can take. So, let us take this combination minus 3 and 4. Okay. When you add them, you will get plus 1. Okay. Now, let us split the middle term. 2x square plus 4x minus 3x minus 6 is equals to 0. Okay. From the first two terms, if I take 2x common, you will get x plus 2. And from the next two terms, if I take minus 3 common, you will get x plus 2 is equals to 0. So, x plus 2 and x plus 2 are common. So, let us take x plus 2. So, the remaining is 2x minus 3. Okay, 2x minus 3 is equals to 0. So, you will get x plus 2 is equals to 0 and 2x minus 3 is equals to 0. So, here you will get x is equals to minus 2. Here, 2x is equals to 3. x is equals to 3 by 2. Okay. So, the roots are x is equals to minus 2 and 3 by 2. Clear? Let us see the third question. Root 2x square plus 7x plus 5 root 2 is equals to 0. So, from this equation, what is a value? a value is root 2, b value is 7 which is coefficient of x and c is the constant which is 5 root 2. Okay, so let us split the middle term which is 7x. So, for that the first step is we will multiply coefficient of x square and the constant term that is root 2 into 5 root 2. Here you will get 5 into 2 is equals to 10. So, this is the positive number. So, the second step is let us take all the positive factors for plus 10. That is 1 into 10 and 2 into 5. Okay. We have only these two combinations for 10. Now, if you multiply these two numbers, you need to get plus 10. And if you add them, you need to get plus 7, which is our middle term. Okay. So, let us take this combination. 2 and 5. Okay. So, let us split the middle term here. The first term is same which is root 2x square plus 7x can be written as 2x plus 5x plus the constant term is also same. 5 root 2 is equals to 0. Now, see here from these two terms what can we take common? So, 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2. Right? Root 2 into root 2 is 2 only. Correct? Now, we can take root 2x as common. Okay? So, let us take root 2x as common. Here, you will have x plus if you take root 2 common, you will have root 2. Root 2. Okay? Plus, now, from these two terms, if I take 5 common, you will have x plus root 2 is equals to 0. Okay. Now, x plus root 2 and x plus root 2 are common. So, x plus root 2 and remaining is root 2x plus 5. So, root 2x plus 5 is equals to 0. Now, x plus root 2 is equals to 0 and root 2x plus 5 is equals to 0. 
So you will get x is equals to minus root 2 and the other root is root 2x is equals to minus 5. x is equals to minus 5 by root 2. Okay, clear? Okay. So let us see the next question which is 2x square minus x plus 1 by 8 is equals to 0. So we have a fraction in the constant term. So let us take the LCM for this, okay, which is 8 is the LCM. You will get 16x square minus 8x plus 1 is equals to 0. You will get 16x square minus 8x plus 1 is equals to 0. So, this is the quadratic equation. We need to find the roots of this quadratic equation. Okay. So, we need to split the middle term which is minus 8x. Clear? From here, take a is equals to 16, b is equals to minus 8 and c is equals to 1. Okay. We know the first step is we will multiply a and c which is 16 into 1 which is 16. And the second step, we will find all the possible factors for 16, which is 1 into 16, 2 into 8, 4 into 4. So, if you multiply them, you need to get plus 16 and if you add them, you need to get the middle term, which is minus 8. Okay. So, in the middle term, we have minus 8. So, which combination can you take and get minus 8? So, we can take one more combination here. So, which is minus 4 into minus 4. Right? So, if you multiply these both, you will still get plus 16. Because minus into minus is plus 4 into 4 is 16. You will still get plus 16. And when you add them, you will get minus 8. So, let us go for this combination which is minus 4 and minus 4. Okay. So, let us split the middle term. So, the first term is same. 6x square minus 8x can be written as minus 4x minus 4x plus 1 is equals to 0. So, from the first two terms we can take 4x common. You will get 4x minus 1 and and from the next two terms we can take minus 1 common. If you take minus 1 common you will get 4x minus 1 is equals to 0. Now 4x minus 1, 4x minus 1 are common. So let us take 4x minus 1. The remaining is 4x minus 1 is equals to 0. So the next is 4x minus 1 is equals to 0 and 4x minus 1 is equals to 0. We are just dividing 0 to both of them. Okay. So, here you will get, here you will get 4x is equals to 1. x is equals to 1 by 4. Okay. Same with the next one. 4x is equals to 1 x is equals to 1 by 4. Okay. So, you have got the same roots. Clear? So, let us see the next question. 100x square minus 20x plus 1 is equals to 0. So, from this equation, let us take a is equals to 100, b is equals to minus 20 and c is equals to 1. So, here we need to split the middle term which is minus 20. Okay, to split the middle term, the first step is we will multiply a and c which is 100 into 1 is 100. And the next step is we will find all the possible factors for 100 which is 1 into 100, 2 into 50, 4 into 25. 5 into 20. The next one is 10 into 10. Okay. So, remember if you multiply them, you need to get 100 
and if you add them you need to get the middle term which is minus 20 okay so see here if you multiply these both combinations 10 into 10 is anyways 100 so if you add them we need to get minus 20 which is our middle term so let us take one more combination which is minus 10 into minus 10 okay if you take this combination if you add them you will get minus 20 okay and if you multiply these both minus into minus is plus 10 into 10 is 100 okay so let us take this combination now let us split the middle term 100x square minus 20x can be written as minus 10x minus 10x plus 1 is equals to 0. Now from the first two terms I can take 10x common. You will get 10x minus 1. And from the next two terms I can take minus 1 common. So you will get 10x minus 1 which is equals to 0. So 10x minus 1, 10x minus 1 are common. So let me take 10x minus 1 and the remaining is 10x minus 1. Okay, is equals to 0. So 10x minus 1 is equals to 0. I am just splitting 0. 10x minus 1 is equals to 0. Okay, so same like the previous one. You will get 10x is equals to 1. x is equals to 1 by 10. So same 10x is equals to 1. x is equals to 1 by 10. Okay, so you will get the same roots for this problem also. Clear? So please do practice all the problems for the factorization method. And let me know if you have any difficulty in solving them. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.